Hello, my name's David from DP Computing and today we're going to tear down a Toshiba PX30T um, all in one unit. As you can see from the back here, there's no screws or anything, so it makes it look like it's difficult to get into, but once you know the tricks, it's very quite easy. The trick is, under the stand, um, probably see a bit better now, there's two little clips at either end, or either side. There's one there and one over this side. Now, if you just get your finger behind the clip, you can actually lift it up, as you can see there, and do the same on the other side. Just stick your finger in, lift it up, and after a bit of jiggling, we can then remove the back panel. Now, on the right-hand side over here, we've got a the memory. It's just hidden by a little cover, so just get a little um, screwdriver or something just to lift that tab up. And in there, we've got the memory which makes it easy to put in a new DIMM or upgrade what you've currently got in there. Hard drive, um, it's just, again, it's underneath or behind, hidden where the stand is. So again, there's a little cover, just remove that cover. And as you can see here, there's a hard drive with the screws. There's one down here, which I've removed earlier, just there. And I'll just remove the other ones, so there's one screw there and on the left hand side again there's an, a screw there and one just on the bottom Once the screws are out, you can, there's a little, there's your little SATA connection here. We can just lift, lift up the device, remove the connector, and there we can see, remove. That's just a bit hard one-handed, but there we go. That's the actual device, you can see the hard drive there. And if you want to remove it, the screws on either side, just to remove the hard drive and then you can easily slide it out, slot it back in and put it all back together again. Thank you for watching. This was a teardown for the Toshiba PX30T all-in-one unit. Cheers and I'll catch you next time.